Here we are into converting prefix and base SI units. So the question sh says a shipwright measures the length of a bolt. The length is 6.6 .6 centimeters. What is the length in meters? Write your answer as a decimal. So let's uh, do this conversion. So this is going to be a conversion than the metric system. And to do a conversion, we always have to start with what is given to us. What is given to us in this case is 6.6 .6 centimeters. So we have 6.6 .6 centimeters. They want us to convert from centimeters to meters. We can do this conversion by referencing the meanings of the prefixes in the table from the previous topic. So if you have that figure or the image of the meaning of the metric prefixes, go ahead and reference it. So how do we do this conversion? The first thing we need to do is find a conversion factor. What is the meaning, uh, what is the meaning of centi? Well, if we reference the table, centi means 10 to the minus Two. That means that let's place one in front of our prefix unit like we did before. One centimeter is 10 to the minus two meters. And so from this relationship, one centimeter is equal to 10 to the minus two meters, we see that this relationship directly relates centimeters and meters. They want us to go from centimeters to meters. So this is all we need. How did we get this again? We just use the meaning of centi and we use that trick that I showed you in previous topics. If you place a one in front of the prefix unit, here is our prefix, then the number of your base units, your base SI units, which is the meter in this case, is equal to the meaning of the prefix. The meaning of centi is 10 to the minus two. So now that we have our conversion factor, let's convert it to a ratio that we can use to convert our measurement from centimeters to meters. Well, we can write this, we can express this conversion factor in two different ways. One centimeter for every 10 to the minus two meters or 10 to the minus two meters for every one centimeter. The question is, which expression do we use, this one or this one? We need to use the expression that allows us to cancel out centimeters and convert to meters. So in order for cent the unit of centimeters to cancel here, I need to multiply it by the expression that has centimeters in the bottom. Well, when I look, that would be this one. So if I take this expression and place it here, one centimeter, every 10 to the minus two meters, if I place it here, what happens is my units of centimeters cancel out. And what unit am I left with? Meters. So my answer will be some number in the unit will be meters. So when you put this into the calculator, you would write 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 2, and that would be our answer. If you want to write this as a decimal, this would be 0 0.01. The answer that I get is 0 0.066 meters. So because we started with what we call two significant digits, which is something that we will learn about soon if we haven't already, our final answer will also be limited to two significant digits. But they didn't ask us to limit it to a certain number, but this, that is a sneak peek to how we would handle our calculated answers when considering significant digits.